This latest Deep Agent update is on a whole different level. It takes everything you know about automation and makes it feel outdated. It builds entire systems, thinks ahead, and keeps improving with every run. Abacus just changed the game, again, and it's catching fire fast. If you've ever used tools like N8N or Zapier, you already know the deal. Connect a few blocks, automate some tasks, save a bit of time. But Deep Agent doesn't play on that level. Built into Abacus AI's chat LLM suite, it opens with a clean, scrollable canvas filled with powerful nodes. Things like web scrapers, email senders, CRM updaters, even raw Python. You type out what you want in plain language, drop in a few smart blocks, and let it handle the rest. Behind the scenes, it fires up cloud runtimes, picks the right language model for the job, links all the steps so they talk to each other smoothly, and quietly improves itself every time the workflow runs again. After a few rounds, it starts working smarter, building on everything it learned, automating the boring stuff with precision without ever slowing down or messing up the details. It feels less like setting up automation and more like assigning tasks to a team that never stops getting better. The interface is clean and built for speed. You start with an empty canvas, drag in the blocks you need, and each one handles its part of the job, whether that's scraping data, summarizing text, sending emails, or calling external tools. If a task gets more complex, the system automatically spins up sub-agents to handle it in the background. When you click Create an AI Workflow, you don't just get a blank screen. You're guided through a short set of questions. What do you want to automate? What are the inputs and outputs? Any constraints? And what's the goal? It's fast, clear, and make sure you get something useful instead of fumbling through setup. There are also ready-to-run examples you can launch instantly, so it's easy to test things without needing real data or writing any code. The first official demo, nicknamed Vibe Code, your own AI app, shows just how little hand-holding the platform needs. Three nodes land on the grid, scrape web, generate summary, and send Slack. Each one gets a single sentence of instruction, run the flow, and Deep Agent handles provisioning, prompt chaining, and data plumbing behind the curtain, then publishes a summarized payload straight into Slack. The killer twist comes after execution. Outcome metrics nudge the prompts, so the next run ships crisper, shorter messages because the model learned that execs skip long paragraphs. No manual retuning required. Demo 2 swings straight at job seekers. At dawn, a scheduled agent fans out across multiple job boards, hunts for titles the user cares about, rewrites every posting into a tight paragraph, and bundles the lot into a single email that lands before the first kettle whistles. The tech crunches half a dozen boards, extracts product manager listings, attaches company title location and link, caps the list somewhere between a dozen and two dozen roles, and does it daily. Humans still decide whether a listing deserves an application, but the slog of skimming 50 near-identical ads vanishes. That's bandwidth flipping in action. The low value scan work gets swallowed by automation, leaving human attention for high stakes, yes or no moment. Support teams get their own spotlight in demo three. A Gmail trigger springs the instant a help desk message arrives. Deep Agent slurps the email body, queries confluence for relevant articles, drafts a personalized reply, and pipes the draft through a toxicity filter. If tone confidence drops under the set threshold, the reply is flagged, giving human agents final veto power. First reply time shrinks from hours to seconds, CSAT nudges upward, and nobody risks sending a cranky paragraph that tanks brand voice. Demo 4 tackles growth with data swagger. Deep agent scrapes LinkedIn, Crunchbase, plus whichever niche forums still look like GeoCities, stitches firmographic details together, and highlights companies perched at a growth inflection. The workflow enriches every lead with decision maker emails, funnels the records into HubSpot, and tags each entry with a living lead score that recalculates nightly. Reps arrive each morning to a queue sorted by purchase intent instead of dumping time into spreadsheet gymnastics. The next clip takes that scored list and unleashes a copywriting cyclone. Deep Agent drafts cold emails that quote the prospect's most recent blog post, nod to a fresh product launch, slot in a relevant value prop, and A-B test subject lines on the fly. Open rate data loops back instantly, steering the agent toward whatever hook performs best. 
In effect, the workflow behaves like a tireless growth hacker split testing around the clock, tweaking copy between pulses without ever bottlenecking on approval cycles. Procurement teams nod knowingly during Demo 6. A 100-page RFP trudges into the system, Deep Agent reads the lot, maps each requirement against the company's own spec sheet, autofills those dreaded compliance tables, and drafts answers that cite exact paragraph and page references. Legal review turns into a quick sanity check instead of a multi-day slog. Response cycles compress by days, and win rates climb because every submission lands early and error-free. Across all six demos, a pattern emerges. Deep Agent vaporizes the busy work layer so humans can stick to strategic decisions, creative sparks, or relationship building. Because every node is a generative primitive, tomorrow's shiny language model can plug straight in and catapult yesterday's workflow up a notch without forcing a rebuild. Under the hood, the interface drops more treats for the technically curious. Every completed flow includes an annual optional commented Python script, a quick copy code button hands over the goods for teams that want to embed the logic elsewhere or audit exactly how an agent parsed a site. There's no need to spelunk through hidden settings. Everything lives in plain text underneath the diagram. Community sentiment matches the spectacle. Early users call the whole affair insane, claiming it multiplies creativity and output rather than just shaving minutes off repetitive chores. Comment threads sound half amazed, half relieved, because typing a goal and watching an answer blossom in seconds feels a bit like discovering cheat codes for professional life. Newcomers eyeing operational cadence can turn to the freshly rolled out tasks feature. Tasks layer robust scheduling on top of any deep agent workflow. A builder chooses daily, weekly, monthly, or custom intervals, dials exact runtimes in 15-minute slices, toggles email alerts, and optionally sets an end date. Behind the scenes, deep agent launches micro cloud processes, internally dubbed MCP servers, so parallel runs stay snappy even when fleets of agents fire off simultaneously. Time zone awareness is baked in, ensuring a six o'clock Pacific run window never drifts because of daylight saving chaos. The economic ask stays shockingly modest. $10 a month on the basic tier secures a seat. For a tool that auto-tunes its own prompts, spawns sub-agents on demand, and attaches to every mainstream work app, the pricing lands closer to pocket change than enterprise gouge. Abacus sweetens the pot with a weekly competition that drops $2,500 into the hands of whoever submits the sharpest human AI collaboration, and there's no entry cap. Teams can fire off as many experimental workflows as they like and treat the contest as an ROI lottery ticket. All told, the platform signals a shift from ordinary automation to outright orchestration. Autonomous routines building further autonomous routines each generation nudging performance higher while humans steer the mission, not the minutia. If routine chores keep piling up, Deep Agent is already holding out the shovel. Catch the next drop for more ways this stack keeps rewriting the productivity playbook. So what do you think, how long before this kind of AI completely replaces half the tools we use today? Drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff, and hit like if you found it useful. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.